Hello and welcome again to another Not So Weekly edition of the Not So Weekly Weekly News from RC Model Reviews. And today, well, first of all, t-shirt time. Look, where are we? They're quad lugs. Look, they sent me this lovely shirt here, see? And, and they sent me a t-shirt. So that's pretty damn good. I'm feeling a bit chuffed about that. There we go, look, see? There's all the information you need. Go to the website. What's it all about? Well, it's multi-rotor related. And actually, that's the theme of this week's Not So Weekly News. Multi-rotors, because <laughs> everywhere I turn here, there are multi-rotors. I've got the QRX 350 from Walkera, the, the pro version, which I'm about to start reviewing. I've got uh, what came in the other day, came in, was these little boards here, the little Naze 32 boards, which I ordered. They're very quick delivery, very fast. I'm really impressed with the, the if, you know, response time on these things. This is the, the Naze 32 board. I also got the Naze 32 Acro, which is the one without the barometric sensor and without the compass. I mean, these days, most people, um, the thing I'm using this on doesn't need a barrow and it doesn't need a compass because it's something else that someone sent me. I went to the mailbox the other day to pick these up because I followed the tracking and it said that arrived and unexpectedly found something else. It was this. Look at this little gorgeous beauty of a thing. Look at this. It's not a lizard. It's a thing called the... Let me find the book so you can see. I'll hold it up. Oh, I've lost it. Oh no. Jeez, I hate it when that happens. Anyway, it is the... Oh, I've lost it. Here we go. This will do. I'll use the card. It's the Blackout Mini Quad. And it's from Blackout Mini Quad. See that? Blackout Mini Quad. No. And it's an Australian product. Well, it comes from Australia anyway. They sent it to me. Uh, I didn't ask for it. They didn't even tell me it was coming. It just turned up. And yeah, there it is. It's a beautiful piece of gear. I've got to say, it's really beautiful. I thought, oh, mini quads. Mm, yeah, okay. In fact, just the, um, at the beginning of the week, Hobby King released a 250 size quad, which is almost ready to fly. It's got the motors, it's got the ESCs, it's got the single piece plastic frame, and it even comes with a battery and some props, three bladed props. And there's no spares, they're all on back order, so oh well. Anyway, I thought, oh, I'll get a couple of those under a hundred bucks. So I got a couple, one for me to review, one for Barry, so I can learn a bit about multi rotors. And they're on their way, they're coming, haven't arrived yet. And then this thing turns up. And I thought, oh, well, I better take a closer look at this mini quad scene because I've, as you know, I've been flying, I've got a Hobby King 450, which is a DJI, DJI flame wheel knockoff. And I've got a couple of other frames, Chinese frames, which I've been really unimpressed with. I made my own frame, welded it out of aluminium. Yeah, it was okay. But um, I've been looking around for something decent. And I, so I've got the Phantom, I've got the Walkeras. And they, they're great, they're okay. They're stable platforms. You can put a camera on them. You can float around, take video of things, you know, lovely pictures and video you can put in your scrapbook. And you can invite the neighbors around and say, look what we did on our summer holidays. And they can look at your video and go, that's wonderful. Oh, what's for tea? So, you know, that's one way, one use of multi just floating around getting video. Now, a lot of people want to use them for that. That's great. That's excellent. And a great deal of the multi rotors on the market today are designed for that, just that application, floating around, taking videos. But when I did some checking on these things, I was blown away. Honestly, I was. And the Cine Tank, because that's also down there under construction at the moment, the Cine Tank, which is actually like, well, same sort of thing. It's an H quad, but it's bigger. It's bigger, it's a bigger size one. And I was thinking, well, you know, let's have a closer look at these, these H quads, these mini quads. And I went online, I looked at some of the videos and oh man, I mean, it's, un it's un almost unbelievable. It's astonishing. It's the closest thing you will ever get to flying like an X-wing fighter in Star Wars. It, what these people, what some people are doing with these things is amazing. You know, they're flying through trees, not around them or over them, but through them. And then you can hear the props clipping the leaves and sometimes they bounce off trees and you can see them free falling and then they'll stabilize and away they go again oh it's just i'll put some links in the description of this video go and click on those links of youtube videos have a look at what these mini quads are doing i hope you'll be as blown away as i am so now you can tell i'm all excited about mini quads and uh, i'm putting this together as quickly as i can it's it's bloody brilliant so i'll be doing a full review of course because there are a few of these a few different mini quads on the market and they sent me this one and i've got to say it certainly looks the part i mean carbon smell that carbon goodness it's brilliant so this is going straight to the pool room and if you don't know what that means go and watch a movie called the castle it's an australian classic movie just like this is an australian product so yeah, mini quads, I'll be getting that together. The Cine Tank will be together next week. Got the QRX 350 Pro. All these things lined up, and so you'll see some review videos. I'm trying not to make it all multi-rotors, because 
To be honest, until these mini quads came along, I wasn't much of a fan of multi rotors. I mean, you know, it gets pretty boring just flying around, even FPV, looking out the window as you float around. I think, oh, yeah, okay. Um, what do you do next? But once I've seen these things in action, man, I'm all stirred up. I'm ready to go because, oh, they're just unbelievable. And the Cine Tank's the same. I think I pointed out previously in some of the Cine Tank videos, people flying in the most amazing ways with these things. It's really just totally different to the old, you know, um, DJI Phantom floating around stuff. It's just, oh, it's really got me going. So I'm a DLG fan for the summer. I think I might be a um, multi-rotor um, threading the needle proximity flying fan for the winter. We'll find out, see what happens. So yep, those are coming up with multi-rotor stuff everywhere and including, of course, a, revo a review of the, now I've lost it, the Naze 32 board. I wish they should have made them bigger because they're tiny, aren't they? Um, Naze 32 boards, I'll be doing a review of those. Also the uh, DJI NASA Lite and the APM 2.5 point whatever, and the, uh, what else is there? There's this one, and there's the, uh, what is it, the uh, KK 2.1 board, which some people say is good, some people say it's not so good as the old one. So all those will be reviewed, and I'll be using some of these frames as a benchmark. This one only takes the little boards, uh, the little posts are there for the CC3D, Open Pilot CC3D, or the Naze 32 board, and I think multi Wii, another multi Wii board or something, so you're limited on this, but on the, Cine Tank, I'll be trying all the flight controllers. They've got all the settings on the Cine Tank website. So I'll be going through those and trying those flight controllers out, comparing the results. So there you go. Now, of course, fixed wing, not forgetting fixed wing. I've ordered one of the Hobby King composite DLGs. I don't know if I mentioned that last time, but they've got a DLG much like the 950 millimeter one, the little one I love so much, but it's composite and it's one meter in span. That's shipped when it arrives. Who knows, it comes in Singapore Post, so it could take forever. But when it arrives, I'll be doing that. It's getting late in the year, the thermals are going. It's, in fact, equinoctial winds, man. When I went out this morning, the wind was blowing so strong, I could hardly stand up. Dust blowing right down the airfield. It's, it was probably three times as strong as Cyclone Lucy the weekend before. So yeah, unfortunately I couldn't fly because Barry wasn't here and you know, my exemption isn't through, but I've spoken to C or exchanged emails with CAA. They're processing my exemption. Hopefully in the next few days, fingers crossed it will turn up and then I'll be able to fly again with an observer and, and a camera person and a radio and all that sort of stuff. But it means I'll be back in, back in the air and all these flight reviews, oh man, you're gonna tell me to stop because there's too much stuff, hopefully. Anyway, so there you go. Lots of stuff coming. That's the weekly news. Just thought I'd fill you in on what's going on and I'll leave you with some shots of this thing because it's just so sexy. If you like the weekly news, give it a thumbs up. If you've got comments, put them on the bottom. Check the description for the comments, or for the video links for these things. You'll find them, I hope you find them as astonishing as I do. Thanks for watching. See you again soon on RC Model Reviews.